Danny in Brooklyn writes to me, bass traps and dipoles. Okay. And Danny says, I don't have bass traps right now, and my bass is extremely linear. Good. Um, it actually feels low in space where it should be. And what I feel like I may be missing is actually pressure. Like, I hear it, but I don't feel it. But my logical state of mind tells me that if I wanted to increase this concept of pressure, of feeling the bass, that trapping the bass in the front and rear corners will cut down on those reflections, the psychoacoustic confusion, and make the direct waves from the speaker more apparent to my ear brain body. But since these are dipoles that I am using, a lot of my fullness is coming from the chamber between the back of the speaker and the wall. Would bass traps on the front corners actually diminish some of the necessary low frequency resonance? Um, that's a fairly complicated question. God, you guys, you asked some, some wild questions. First off, let's talk about dipole bass. Dipole bass has a problem. And I don't know what kind of dipoles you have, but all dipoles suffer from the same problem. Or open back speakers, um, speakers without the, you know, the, the box, the, what, you know, the open baffle speakers, all of them have a problem. And that is that the front wave is out of phase with the rear wave. Now, at higher frequencies, that's okay because the wavelengths are short enough where it doesn't wrap around and cancel. But in low frequencies, you're going to get cancellation. Now, there's a number of ways to deal with that. In a lot of open baffle speakers, you'll notice that they have active bass. And likely they're using some sort of DSP to ramp the bass up so that whatever amount of cancellation from the front wave and the back wave that they're experiencing kind of gets ameliorated by this boost in bass, right? So they, they use DSP to do that and try and even it out as opposed to a box speaker like our Aspens, okay? And there's most speakers are box speakers, right? And in a box speaker, the woofer's in a box. So the back of the woofer never gets out of the box. All you have is the front woofer. Therefore, you, got, you have bass that does not have this problem. So that's your first problem. I mean, forget bass traps for a minute. You have a dipole. You have a problem with the bass. Every dipole that I have ever owned, and I have owned about every dipole out there, from quads to acoustats to uh, Martin Logans uh, to magnaplaners, multiple magnaplaners. I love magnaplaners. All of them had to be augmented with closed box subwoofers. If you want to feel that bass, get yourself a sub. Don't be screwing around with bass traps and all this stuff, Danny. Just live up to the fact that dipoles are going to have a problem with bass. Great imaging, all of that, but the bass is a problem. And you solve it by augmenting with subwoofers. Plain and simple. All right? <laughs> Might not be the answer you're looking for, but I got to tell you, over all these years, that's the only way I've been able to get bass that I feel, that the pressure is hitting me. And that's a good feeling. All right. Good luck. Thanks.